best hair in the game. Thank it's you. Gotta be, it's gotta be, yeah, it's you, <laughs> it's you right there. Is that quarantine hair or is that like, I know I was growing it out before that. No, it's definitely quarantine hair. Um, I, uh, one, one of the guys I was watching during the playoffs, Jimmy Butler, um, I just, I just like watching the Miami Heat play so much. And um, I hadn't cut my hair since then. And now I just really use it as an excuse. Say Jimmy Butler got to the finals. He didn't have a haircut, so why should I? 2020, you've seen now all these sports leagues playing in empty stadiums. What are the challenges you guys need to overcome in order to be successful? I, I try not to think about it because I think Viejas was going to be insane this year straight off the bat. But uh, it also helps when we go to places like Utah State and, and New Mexico. Um, there's not going to be fans there either. So I think it'll be more consistent. Maybe it'll be more consistent because we'll have to create that energy by ourselves every game and we'll, we'll know what to expect. We'll know that there's going to be no fans. There's going to be no good. There's going to be no nobody talking trash trying to take our heads off. So we'll have to create that energy by ourselves, And, you know, at least we'll know what to expect every game from the fans, from the distractions. Last season, historic season. I know you've been asked about it a ton. It ends so abruptly. What can you take away, if anything, from last season? I think we can take away that we really, we really just focused on um, the day to day last year. I remember talking about how much fun I was having in practice last year, um, how much fun I was having, you know, in meetings and and watching film when <laughs> I'm doing stuff right and the coaches don't have to yell. It's just stuff that that I went through my first two years and. And uh, regardless of the record, just doing things the right way and playing hard and playing together and trusting your teammates uh, are things that create that, that winning record. And it's things that we can take away from last year and uh, build towards this year. This is really your team, Matt's team. How do you see your role expanding this season or how do you want it to expand? Um, I think on offense, it'll just expand uh, by getting more shots, uh, having the ball in my hands more. And it'd be fun because uh, I'll be able to make more plays. Uh, I worked really hard on putting the ball on the, on the ground um, last year and this year, um, taking that jump during the coronavirus, really working on that every day. And um, I just think it'll be fun. It's, it's another year to grow my game and and to, to be a leader vocally. Our leadership styles uh, kind of complement each other, you know. Uh, his he's kind of like a brute force guy you know you have to match his energy his his strength that's kind of how he leads and and I'm more the guy that'll put you aside and um, talk to you individually and, and stuff like that so I think in terms of that I think it'll be it'll be a great combination I also want to talk about your growth I mean just even talking to you from a few years ago to now you know I can sense it how do you think that you've grown as a person as a player on and off the court since you came into SDSU yeah, man, <laughs> the four years went by so fast, but they also, it was also a grueling process of trying to get better, growing, stumbling, and getting back up. Um, and when the coronavirus hit, uh, I think it just gave me a chance to grow even more. Uh, you know, I read a lot of books. Um, I was able to, to get in great shape. I was able to try stuff, um, try new things that I never did before. I was able to have fun with my friends and family. So I think that, it gave me a greater understanding of playing basketball. You know, a lot of people uh, would love to play a child's game for, for a living. Um, that's pretty much what we're doing, playing a child's game um, and going to college um, for free. So I think that just being grateful for it all has helped me um, be here and help me lead and uh, help me just enjoy every moment with the NCAA saying, hey, you could come back next season. What are your thoughts on that, on having another year of eligibility? And is it something that you think you could see yourself doing? I'm just trying to make sure that this year is special. Um, this feels like my senior year. You know, I'm just here four years. So I'm gonna act like this is my senior year and, uh, you know, go out loud and leave everything I have. And, and you know, we, I mean, still don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I might have to come back next year, but. I'm leaving that um, for after the season decision because I want to make sure I leave it all out there and and give everything I have to, to this program and to the fans and and uh, make sure that um, that when I leave here that that I'll be able to be satisfied with with never having a chance to play in the house again. You've been around a lot of players. Is there any one piece of advice or anything that you've watched 
throughout the years that you're going to kind of take with you into this year? Uh, yeah, I think everybody knows me and Malachi were great friends and I just admired his confidence and his ability to uh, just be, be himself and just be fearless in the moment. And that's one thing I'm going to take away um, from this year.